Hello, my name is Sandra Kubasik and I'm currently in my fourth year of Computer Games Art and Animation course at GCU. Back in the school times, I liked such subjects as Art and Informatics, and both of those subjects are related to my course and make my studying more enjoyable. I came to the first year of university after taking a gap year after leaving school, and I needed this one year of break to help me reset and think what I really want to do next. Meanwhile, I was working in retail to save up some money. Once the university started, plenty of ways to study came along. We had seminars, tutorials and lectures. As my course is more digital and practical in nature, I used to have most of my teaching on seminars that were taking place in computer labs. We were working there on developing our practical skills through learning software and working on 3D and animation related things under the tutor's supervision. We were offering their help if we needed, however it was mostly independent work. <laughs> Tutorials, on the other hand, were guided. We had a certain topic to work or discuss on and our tutors often wanted the group to engage and discuss and sometimes work on certain tasks with them. And finally, lectures were taking place either in a great theater or a smaller class and we were listening to tutors elaborating on certain topic. Finally, lectures were times where we were gathering either in a big theater or smaller class to listen to our tutors elaborate on certain topic. This topic was later discussed or worked on during tutorials and seminars. Basically, lectures material was giving us wider context and helped in carrying out our assignments. When it comes to the size of my class, it varied quite much across the years and modules. In the first and second year, we had approximately 20 people in the group, but once we had classes that were covering other disciplines, people from alike courses like programming or games design were joining a module which made the group larger. In the third year, we had also new people joining from college, which made the size of my group doubled in size. We also were sometimes split in seminars and tutorials. Assignment-wise, we have mostly 3D and animation-related practical projects to deliver, sometimes with documentation such as a report or progress log. We also have integrated projects where we work on developing a game with people from other disciplines like programming and games design. There are also a few essays to write across the years and finally there is just one written exam from a single module. When I graduate, I would like to look for jobs in 3D industry. I would like to become an art director at some studio or a freelancer. And as you can see, everybody's story is different and unique. It happened to be beneficial for me to take a gap year, but it might be different for everybody. What's important, however, in my opinion, is to try to find the thing that interests you and feels like right for you. Either going to the university, college, apprenticeships, taking a gap year, volunteering or practical job experience, it's all a good choice until it's fine for you.